Hello again. This is Dave Robinson at Sustainability AV. We're now being joined by Catherine Langabeer and Helen Heathfield, who are going to tell us about their pioneering work with UK uh, music and theatre scenes through their operation, Julie's Bicycle. Catherine. Thank you, Dave. It's a pleasure to be here today, and uh, we're just going to talk a little bit about energy audits, but also uh, very much the bigger picture. So that's what Julie's Bicycle was created to do, was look at what would happen if we wanted to address issues of sustainability as an entire industry. The music industry wanted to know what to do, and that's uh, why Julie's Bicycle was set up. So we want to give you some, some tips and hints, and we're going to walk you through some, some online tools, but we're also going to uh, talk a little bit about the bigger picture, at least what we've been doing in, in the UK Okay, so sorry about this little technical hitch, just going back. Okay, so I've called this How Low Can You Go? We, we started off playing around with the idea of I mean, the title that you may have seen was Carbon Neutrality, but for us, uh, that's something that uh, very often means you're buying offsets, and, and that's kind of not at all where Julie's Bicycle wants to start. Julie's Bicycle, in a way, was set up because music industry companies were being approached and, and offered offsetting as an opportunity to improve their environmental creden credentials, but uh, it, it really is a small part of the picture, and we wanted to shift the focus away from offsetting and away from carbon neutrality and towards the question of, if you like, how low can you go? So what would it look like if the music industry was going to take uh, what the kind of global community is saying about carbon emissions and that we need to cut them in the developed world by up to 90% by 2050? What, what would that mean for the music industry? What would we have to do? So... That's what we're going to talk about. Okay, great. So the first thing I want to start off with, and I'm conscious that you could be listening anywhere in the world and watching anywhere in the world, is that uh, weather is different to climate. At the moment in the UK, and we're sitting here in an office in London, we're looking out over snow-covered rooftops. Yes, that happens in winter, but it's very unusual for November. It's absolutely freezing here. I put a little screen grab up from a recent BBC weather. It's, it's completely freezing. And... Uh, it, it, it can lead us to think, well, climate change isn't really the serious issue that people are saying it is, that scientists are saying it is, that politicians are saying it is. But in fact, of course, weather is different to climate. And if we look at climate, which is, which is average trends over much longer periods of time, not day to day, not week to week, what uh, the UK Met Office and what NASA uh, are both looking at is that 2010 is going to be globally the hottest or second hottest uh, year on record. So just because we're freezing and having to wear double-layer coats and Wellington boots around London doesn't mean that climate change has gone away. Uh, if you're interested in looking at the science more, I'd recommend that you investigate the Royal Society website. They've recently published some papers uh, looking at the possibility of a four-degree temperature rise. Uh, now, that came out of some work done last year, but um, the Royal Society has just published these recently. Uh, a lot of the talk is always about we need to keep to two degrees centigrade rise. That's where we need to stick. That's what's, uh, that's what's important. And that's what all of the uh, global targets uh, that uh, are being negotiated are, are fixed on, avoiding a two degree temperature rise. These Royal Society papers published by uh, really respected scientists are saying, we're very likely moved beyond that already. That, uh, that is looking very, very unlikely that we're going to be able to stick to that goal. Uh, let's see what's going to happen if we look at a four degree temperature rise. So things are serious, even though they feel cold, at least in London, uh, the, the seriousness of the issue has not gone away. Uh, and, and another thing that's going on right now, apart from this freezing cold weather in London, is uh, in Mexico we've got climate negotiations. Uh, they're a year on from Copenhagen last year. Some of you will have followed that and known that uh, a comprehensive global agreement wasn't reached. Uh, they're back in Mexico this week uh, up for the next.